coaching team is an interesting one, and I know traditionally people think about um, you know set siloed roles, as it were. I think that modern players, modern teams require a little bit more um, overlap. So very keen to have a team of coaches. Um, you know, we're all in it together after all. And I appreciate my name's at the, above the door, but I think we uh, we have a responsibility to all contribute to all parts of the program. Uh, because the modern player requires a lot of attention and a lot of development. So from that point of view, it's important that we, uh, we can facilitate that. The, the, the vision we have is to run a, a player first program, right? We stick the players at the, the heart of all of our decision making. My role and my, I've got an unbelievably capable and emotionally invested team here um, off the field. Uh, and our job is to incent, essentially put the players at the centre of what we do make decisions within the, the areas of medical, sports science, recruitment, academy, player development, but ultimately support those coaches on the field and put the player at the very centre of their decision making. Everything we do is about the player. You know, we've got to put them in the best position possible so they can lead on their own performance and be consistent in their own performance and essentially for us to win as a team. We just want to develop the individual. We want that person to be the best that they can be. So when they put on our Osprey jersey, we know that when they go on that field, they're going to give it their all. Um, and we just want to have that growth mindset for that individual, because every day you want to get better, whether that's the likes of Alan Wynn or the likes of Joe Hawkins, you know, from the youngsters to the oldies and the more experienced guys, just making sure that we, um, we put our best foot forward. Uh, so my job is to physically prepare the players for the demands of the game, and then also underpin our uh, identity, physically, how we want to play for our game model. Uh, player first for me is ensuring that we do everything we can to ensure the players can focus on number one, and that's the rugby side of it, to give them the best opportunity that when we come game day, they're properly prepared to go and win. Yeah, I think Toby's got a clear vision set out that we're a set, per, uh, set piece first team, so it's really important that the quality of the ball you get to play with you know, puts your team on the front foot, so obviously looking into that to make sure that we're robust and strong enough there to um, have enough ball to provide a platform for everyone else. Yeah, it's, a, it's certainly a challenging environment. Um, it's an honest environment. Uh, people are, people everyone, from players to coaches, to analysts to anyone are driving the high performance environment that Toby requires. He's definitely not shy in asking for you to give most for the team's benefit. Um, and you can see that in the results on the pitch. It's my job to, uh, to oversee and coordinate all aspects of the physiotherapy and medical provision for the Senior Elite Ospreys programme and the academy and transition, transition programmes as well. And the philosophy is not just to get guys back on the field and surviving, you know, we want guys to return to play well. And uh, it's not just about medical, you know, from day one, again, this is a collective responsibility across all departments within the high performance team. Basically, if we keep improving the players, the team gets better um, and supporting them to um, to achieve their goals, to um, improve their performance levels, um, allows us collectively as a group to improve. Irrespective of whether people are senior or junior, and I, I talk about players and staff, everyone is united behind a common objective, and that's for the Ospreys to be successful. 